Hello guys, here Mr. G with another lesson for the electric circuit and I thought before we go to internal resistance let's solve one question on everything that we've been practicing up until now so this lesson um, I am going to call it revision and we're just going to be solving a question only one question but this question have most of the concepts we learned previously the question says for this diagram where the battery emitters and conducting wire have negligible resistance calculate the following and the first thing they ask you to calculate is the total resistance of the circuit and remember in the previous example we already spoke of how to calculate the total resistance in this case we have three resistors you can see that this one is connected in series with a parallel part when the current here split in two parts here as you can see because it have a common a terminal and then these two resistors are in parallel so to calculate and this one is going to be 1.1 to calculate the total resistance um, i'm going to write external as we did in the example later on when we do internal resistance you will understand why I'm doing that but if they say the um, battery doesn't have internal resistance so the total resistance is the external one um, so it's not a big issue this one will be the resistance in series plus the resistance in parallel and therefore we do have to calculate the resistance in parallel guys and uh, we are going to go to the formulas remember the resistance in parallel are here we are going to use this formula because it is a more general one this is for parallel this one is not new we already spoke about that and we are going to write it like exactly as it is in the resistance in parallel or one divided by resistance in parallel is one divided by r1 plus one divided by r two in this case we have only two resistors in parallel which are the six the 16 ohm and the 48 ohm here so when you do that you have that one divided by resistor in parallel is equal to one divided by 16 plus one divided by 48 okay and we got that one divided by resistance in parallel is equal to one divided by 12. Now remember you have to go to the uh, power negative one. So resistance in parallel is equal to 1 divided by 12 to the power minus 1. It's quite simple guys. It's really really simple. So you get that the resistance in parallel is going to be equal to 12 ohms. 12 ohm. Now we can substitute back there the answer. And we got that the total resistance of the circuit is going to be the addition of 3 plus 12 and therefore the answer is going to be 15 ohm. Very simple, this is the first answer for question 1.1. I hope you understand, it's really, really simple. Now, the next question, question 1.2, they say calculate the reading on both ammeters A1 and A2. Guys, A1 is right here. And A2 is here. Both ammeters are reading the total current of the circuit. So, if we use the formula that we have here for resistance, this formula here, for the total entire circuit, we can say, or for the, let's say for the external circuit, this one is question 1.2, we can say that R total will be equal to V total, which is given to you here in the battery, you can see 30 volts divided by the current uh, total, which in this case is equal to A1 as well as A2. So if you substitute, remember, I like to substitute like this one. Um, the R total is the 15 we just calculated. The uh, total potential difference is 30. We learn later on, we learn a little bit more about the total potential difference, but it's not the purpose for this uh, specific question. And then you get that the current is going to be equal to 2 amperes. 2 amperes that is the current and notice is the current for a1 as well as for a2 because the current is going to be constant throughout the circuit all right even for the whole parallel part is also going to be 2 amperes so what we are going to do is we are going to write here on the circuit this one is 2 amperes and this one is 2 amperes just for us to be knowing the data within the circuit there so that one is question 1.2 it is quite simple guys we go to question 1.3 calculate the reading of voltmeter v2 now v2 
is the potential different only for the three ohm um, resistor that you can see there. So question 1.3, they want the potential different for the three ohms um, resistor there. You can use the exactly the same formula or you can use Ohm's law, but um, remember Ohm's law is the same formula guys, but it's just expressed in the terms of potential different is equal to a current multiplied by resistor. This is Ohm's law. All right, but it's the same, it's the same uh, formula. So we're going to apply the same formula, but for the three ohm resistor. So in this case, I'm going to write it as it is in the formulas. I, I'm not going to change that. Resistance, which is three, is equal to potential difference, which is what we are looking, divided by current. But the current is the same, because remember, in a series circuit, the current is the same, or throughout the whole circuit. It's only split in the parallel part, which is not this uh, case here. So the resistance is three, the potential difference is what we are looking for, and the current is going to be uh, the same we did calculate just now. So the potential difference when you rearrange this formula is equal to six volt. So six volt is the potential difference that will be in the three ohm resistor, guys. It is also quite simple. I hope you are following me and you're taking notes. Question three, uh, 1.4, the reading on each voltmeter, V3 and V4. And note, V3 and V4 is because they are in parallel are going to be the same. So let's write that one is question 1.4. And let's perhaps go back as we did with the current and right here, this is six volts, okay? Now in question 1.4, you need to know that the potential different three is going to be equal to potential different four because they are in parallel. Remember, we learned that the potential difference in a parallel part of the circuits are going to be the same. Now, what we need to know, it's very, very simple. You know that potential difference one, which in this case is the potential difference of the battery, as you can see it here, must be equal to the potential difference three or two, pardon, the potential difference two, plus the potential difference of the parallel part of the circuit. And all we have to do is to substitute the numbers we have. For potential difference one, we have 30 volts. Potential difference two, we have, we just calculated six volts. And therefore, the potential difference in parallel, when you rearrange this one, you will get that is going to be equal to, and let's do this, three equal to four, equal to 24 volts. That is the potential difference for the parallel combination and is therefore the potential difference for each of those resistors as you can see there. Also, very simple. I hope you are following me. You understand it's not a big issue here. Next question, question 1.5. Calculate the reading of each of the ammeters A3 and A4. And now be careful. The current is going to split here, at this point, the current split in two parts. Remember that one, we already spoke about that. Split in two parts, but not equally. Why not equally? Because the resistors are not the same. These resistors have different uh, resistance and therefore the current is not going to be split the same. The one that have less resistance will get more current to pass through. The one that has a higher resistance will get less current to pass but we do have we do have the potential difference so using the very much same formula we can use it to calculate the current in each of them and we are going to do real fast but the next one we don't have to use the same formula so let's use it for uh, the 16 ohm so let's answer here at the bottom in the new page question 1.5 um, now question 1.5 and I'm going to write here for the um, 16 ohm for the 16 ohm. So what we have? Resistance is equal to potential difference divided by a current. And we do have the resistance is 16 ohm. Potential difference we just calculated is 24 volts. So it's 24 volts divided by a current. When you rearrange, you get that the current is going to be equal to 1,5 amperes. That is the current through um, a meter 
let's go to the picture and meet the three so a3 this one is i i'm going to write it 3d and that is the first answer we have now for the next current we are not going to use the formula we are going to do something different you need to know that the total current and let's write here for this one is what is the resistance is 48 ohm so for the 48 ohm what you need to know you need to know that the total current is going to split so it's going to be equal to current that passed through, uh, through a meter or, or resistor of 16 ohm plus the current that passed through the resistor of 48 ohm which we're going to call a I4. I'm keeping the symbols, this I3, I4 is because I'm keeping the same uh, symbols as you use there with the meters um, in this case is the meter here, I3 and I4. So I total is two, we did calculate it previously guys um, they is the total current at this point was question 1.2 and then a part of it is going through I3 which we did just calculate this one is 1,5 amperes plus current 4 and then a current 4 is going to be equal to 2 minus 1,5 guys this is going to be equal to a 0,5 amperes and that is the answer for this question so now we have the current let's write it down there we have 1,5 for this point is one um sorry no that one here is 1,5 amperes and we know here is 1,5 amperes okay so that is uh, that is question uh, 1.5 question 1.6 what is the power of the 3 ohm resistor now the 3 ohm resistor is a uh, this one here guys and we have for that ohm resistor we have the um, potential difference we have the current that flows through there we have the resistance so either any of the formulas that we have we can calculate there so it's question 1.6 Question 1.6 and let's quickly see what we have in this case I am going to write the data and this is for the 3 ohm resistor So we have that the resistance is given is 3 ohm. That is quite simple We have that the potential difference we did calculate it and it was um, 6 volts you can see it there 6 volt and we have that the current that passing through there is the total current and it is to amperes guys we are looking for the power so when you looking for the power in this case the question say what is the power when you go to the formulas look here you have so many formulas of power that you can use this one we do not have the um, energy so we have to use either of them and we have all the data so in this case let's use the very first one but you are welcome to use any of them so we are going to use power and um, equal power equal the product of potential different multiplied by current we have everything potential different is six the current is two therefore the power is going to be let's write it at the bottom here perhaps power is equal to 12 watt that is the power for that resistor and end of question 1.6 is quite simple it's really really easy and the last question 1.6 what is the total current flowing through the one ammeter ammeter a1 in three minutes well guys the current will stay two amperes throughout the whole uh, time now if it was a charge charge is a different story remember current is equal to charge divided by time is the rate of flow of charge that is the definition of current if for instance you want to calculate the charge which is not the question divided by time that is three minutes but three minutes is 180 seconds so when you calculate here you get that the charge that is flowing that point in three minutes is equal to 360 coulombs that is the amount of charge flowing that Point. But if you, for instance, they say that we're going moving backward to current again, and they say 360 coulomb of charge passing a point in three minutes, which is 180 um, seconds, you get that is two amperes. So in three minutes, the current will still be three amperes because that is constant there guys this is the question i hope it helped it is a very good question to practice all the concepts with them and um, 
Thank you for watching. Thumb up, subscribe for the channel. I'll see you next time. Mr. G here.